What's up, YouTube gaming community? It's Wilgram13. We've got a new pickups video. Some stuff I picked up this week. Let's get started. Um, start with the old stuff I got first. Found on uh, the Atari 2600 Sword Quest Earth World. It's in perfect shape. I mean, the cartridge is brand new. I mean, I don't know if you get a look at this. I'll try to get a little closer. But it's in perfect shape. I found this for a dollar at Goodwill. I do remember this game as a kid, and uh, I didn't have a manual then, just like now, so this was a tough game without a manual. Then I found this, uh, another Atari 2600 game. I used to read uh, about this one in uh, comic books back in the early 80s, but uh, it's Star Wars Jedi Arena, which is just like a, uh, it's like ice hockey, but instead of paddles you're using lightsabers it's that kind of thing it's uh, whenever Luke Skywalker and Obi-Wan Kenobi were training and the Millennium Falcon in Star Wars A New Hope um, can't wait to try that one out again got that for a dollar too uh, some, uh, picked up some Game Boy stuff um, for the Game Boy Color I picked up Pac-Man the uh, special color edition. Um, it comes with uh, Pack Attack and uh, of course regular Pac-Man, but I got that for 50 cents. Very addicting game, the uh, Pack Attack. Very addicting. Great game. It's like a Tetris style puzzle game. It's really cool. And I found uh, for 50 cents also, I found Batman. Batman, uh, it's, it's by Sunsoft, but it's nothing like the NES version. It's uh, Nowhere near as good. And I found, uh, now this doesn't have a, co a cover, which uh, it has a battery cover on it for uh, the rumble feature, but this is a uh, Pokemon Pinball. It's a really cool pinball game. It's got uh, a red and a blue table, and it's a lot of fun. A lot of, a lot of fun, but I bought this for two bucks. And I found uh, Bubble Bobble for the Game Boy. And uh, this actually has like a story mode to to it. And it's it's kind of interesting, but it's if you love Bubble Bobble, you'll love this game. All right, I found this, which is uh, the strange Pokemon device. It's by Nintendo, and it kind of reminded me of the Pack and Watch stuff. But uh, it came with these cartridges that go on the back. Um, it came with four of them, and I bought the whole thing for $1.50. It's got all four of these little cartridges that snap onto the back of this thing here. And uh, this thing is just some little type of game. You know, it's a little Pokemon game. I don't know. I tried to mess around with it, and I, I didn't get it. I don't know. What do you think about that? Want play with it? some PC games, pretty interesting ones. Uh, the first one I found was uh, Super Street Fighter Turbo 2, and uh, this is just like uh, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Um, it's just like it's got all the new, all the new challengers in it, you know, DJ and Balrog and all those guys, but I've never seen it on PC. It'll be interesting to see what the differences are with this one versus like the SNES version and the Genesis versions. But let me give that a shot. This was uh, two dollars. Found uh, Star Wars Rogue Squadron 3D. Um, now by 3D it doesn't mean with 3D glasses. It means with uh, 3D acceleration. This was back in uh, 2000 whenever the voodoo cards and uh, having a video card and video acceleration was brand new. So. Uh, I'll try this one out, but this was a dollar, and for a dollar I found Complete, which it's, this I found at Salvation Army, so as you know it's, it's rare sometimes to find all the discs in the box, especially a game like Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. This has four discs inside and they're all there, so I was pretty happy to have found that. I never got to play this game, so, um, 
Maybe I did on the Xbox, but I want to try it on the PC. And I found that for at uh, was it Salvation Army for two bucks, I believe. Uh, I'm not sure, but it wasn't very expensive. Now, for some uh, PlayStation games, each one of these I found for two dollars at Goodwill. In the box, complete uh, Road Rash for the PlayStation. This has a soundtrack by Soundgarden in it. I'm gonna break my rusty chain and run, but uh, and it also has. Uh, Swerve Driver, the cheesy band that's on here, <laughs> but uh, you can see it's uh, it's complete with the manual and everything here. That was a good find. I really like Road Rash. Then I found uh, Primal Rage. Um, you have to remember this game. This was the uh, prehistoric fighter where you can be Riptor and all those guys, and it's just a you know it's a fighting game. But again, this one. Is complete. As you can see, the manual just fell out. But uh, it's another one. I found it for two bucks. And I also found Battle Arena Toshinden 2, which is uh, a 3D fighter in the vein of Tekken. But I think this actually might predate Tekken, because I had uh, Battle Arena Toshinden 1, and uh, you know, pretty archaic, more on the lines of virtual fighters type stuff. But uh, you get weapons and all this stuff. I mean, I really like this game. If you, uh, if you come across it, pick it up. It's one of the good fighting games for the PlayStation. Alright, so next on the PlayStation uh, games, got World's Scariest Police Chases. Comes fully loaded with Sheriff John Bunnell's commentary on here. Priceless. It's actually a lot of fun just to do all the things you've seen on the TV show. World's Scariest Police Chases, and hear John Bunnell talking commentary. It's ridiculous. But, uh, anyway, for a buck, it was worth it. Found, uh, Fighting Force for the PlayStation. Now I have Fighting Force for the Nintendo 64. I'm sh I want to see which one's better, but, uh, this is a dollar also. And I found a complete version of Gran Turismo for the PS1. Uh, it's it's uh, fully complete with the manual and discs for a change. <laughs> Found that at Goodwill for a buck also. Um, also, let's see. On the Super Nintendo, which uh, this is actually a question for SNES-tastic. Um, how's it going, buddy? I want to know about this game. Um, I found this on the Super Nintendo. It's called Mohawk and Headphone Jack. Now I'm going to walk this up here so you can kind of see, hopefully you can see the picture on the front. But it's called Mohawk and Headphone Jack, and it's very strange. You're this Mohawk guy, and you can turn into a spiky ball and roll, and you have to collect CDs and all this stuff. It's a trippy game, but uh, it's made by Black Pearl. So, so if my buddy Snestastic could tell me anything about this, I'd appreciate it. Thanks, buddy. But yeah, I found this for a dollar. For a dollar on the Super NES, I also found Out of This World. Um, first time I played this was on a PC, the PC version, and I loved it. I, I know the Super Nintendo version isn't as good graphically, but still has the same feel to it, so look forward to playing Out of This World. This was 50 cents. And this one just looks weird to me. Um, it's by THQ, but, uh, and this was also a dollar, but this is The Lawnmower Man for, for the Super NES. I uh, haven't tried it out, so I'll be, it'll be interesting to see what the heck this game is built on. Alright, this is also just something I wanted to let you guys know out there. Um, I'm sure all of you guys go to GameStop and, and buy your new games there. Maybe you go to other places, but I go to GameStop. And I'm sure you know that they have a bunch of PS2 games real cheap, but they're in, they don't come in a box, and they're in a sleeve. Now, that's okay by me. I don't always need a box, especially if it's a game I've wanted to play. And being real cheap, um, like this, I found for two bucks. And this was uh, mixed up in the uh, in all of the PlayStation 2 games, but it's Dark Watch for the Xbox. Um, it's a first-person shooter from Capcom. I've always wanted to try this out, so now you get an opportunity. But I would highly recommend if you ever want to boost up on your PS2 collection, to go to GameStop. They have a lot of really good deals. Yeah, so anyway, um, 
you can see how many I've bought recently, and they range anywhere from, you know, two to five bucks. And uh, I, I'm not going to go through each one of these, but I'll kind of tell you some highlights I found, so that maybe you can go and check them out at your local GameStop. Uh, Devil May Cry for two bucks, both discs. Did I say Devil May Cry 2? That's Devil May Cry 2. Um, here's a Capcom game, uh, Everblue 2. Uh, that was two bucks. For four bucks, this was uh, Xeno Saga, episode one. For five bucks, Fire Pro Wrestling Returns. If <laughs> This is just like the wrestling games uh, that you played in the arcades, like WrestleMania in the, in the 80s. This is uh, just like that. Great wrestling game. Uh, let's see. The Auto Modalista, a Capcom racing game. It's, it's like cell shaded graphics, really cool. Uh, found that for $3. Uh, the, uh, the Atari Anthology, uh, got that for a buck. Um, but the Atari Anthology has all the Atari games on it. Uh, another good one I found was. Uh, for the PS2, which was two bucks, was uh, Taito Legends. This has every Taito arcade game on it. And I didn't know they made so many arcades back in the day, but this is a, this is a good find for two bucks. But I can just go on and on and on. There's the uh, Mega Man X7 for two bucks. But I've got so many in here that, <laughs> I mean, so many. All the Max Paynes, uh, Grand Theft Autos, just basically all of the PS2 games that I wanted to play back in the day, I can get them now, and I'm just going to put them in a like a CD book and just keep them in there. Um, I do like again, I do like to have them in boxes, but I'm not going to not play a game because it's not in a box. That just doesn't make sense to me. And finally, the pickup that I found, you're going to hate me when I tell you how much I bought this for. This is the Elder Scrolls Five. Skyrim official game guide. This thing is huge, man. This thing is just gigantic. Now, I didn't get this so that I could have walkthroughs. I got it so I so I want to do everything in this game. And uh, I believe this is what will help me. Now, I bought this at Toys R Us for five bucks because it was ripped right here and kind of torn up on the bottom. And I took it up to the front counter and I said, hey, look, this is a $27 book, and it's all ripped up. And uh, a manager came over and marked it down for me. So I was happy to have that. But anyway, another question about, uh, you know, about a few, I guess a few people have asked me, why do I have a parrot in here? And uh, she's my pet parrot. She likes to do what I do. And uh, when I come in here and give attention to the video camera, she, she just likes to hang out. I don't know. Can't tell you why. She just likes to be in here. Don't you? Yeah. But anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out my pickups. And uh, I should have another one coming up here soon. So, from Will Graham 13 and Harriet the Parrot, take care.